In this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record and compress your DJ mix in Audacity, which is a free sound editor. Now you can download Audacity for Mac, Windows, and Linux, so everyone here is well represented. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the Audacity website and download the version for your particular operating system. I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to download the Mac version. You're also going to need to download the lame MP3 encoder binary and both of the links to these pages will be in the episode notes on the djpodcast.com. Now, once you've downloaded both of the installers for Audacity, we're going to want to go through and install both of these applications. So we're just going to click on the first one. And the installation is really simple. It opens up. You know, and you just drag the Audacity icon into your Applications folder. The next thing that we're going to do is open the lame library disk image. And we're going to run through the installer. Alright, so now we've got Audacity installed and the lame mp3 library installed as well. And we're going to open up Audacity and you see we have just sort of a blank slate. So what we're going to want to do is go into the preferences and we're going to want to, to check two things. The first is that we have our playback and recording devices set correctly. So in this instance, I want my recording device to be the built-in input. That will ensure that my connection between my mixer and my computer is set to be what is recorded. Next, we're going to go into the File Formats tab, and you can see down here on the bottom, we have this MP3 Export Setup area, and this is where the lame libraries come in handy. What we're going to do is click Find Library, and you're going to see it says that we you know, have not set this up before, and it says, would you like to locate lib mp3 lame.dilib now? And we say yes. Now, it will automatically look for it, but if you cannot find where the file is, you can go to user slash local slash lib and then in the audacity folder you'll see that there is the lib mp3 lame file. You just click open and we can now export from audacity into an mp3 file. So we'll just click OK and now we are set up to start recording. Now one thing that I usually do before I record is I set the monitoring on and you can simply click this little drop down next to the microphone here and just click monitor input and you can see now that we can in real time see what the levels are. Also if you want to change the recording level you can set the input level here next to the microphone. When you're ready to start recording, just simply hit the recording button and it will automatically create a new track and start recording your mix. And when you're done, you simply click stop and it will stop recording. Pretty simple. When you're ready to export as an mp3, you're going to want to go to file and then export as mp3. Now you can choose where to save this file and we'll just call it test and if you click save it will export but first it's going to give us some options so we can say what the, you know some of the metadata is we're just going to click OK and then it'll go ahead and export the mp3